This is the place that nurtured one of the world's greatest literary geniuses. This is Stratford-upon-Avon, the birthplace and final resting place of William Shakespeare. Shakespeare was born in this house on Henley Street on April 23, 1564. He was the third of eight children, the first to survive infancy, born to glove maker John Shakespeare and wife Mary Arden. Today, Stratford-upon-Avon is largely built on Shakespeare's legacy. The population is less than 30,000, but each year over three million visitors from around the world come here to walk in the footsteps of the immortal bard. Henley Street is a good place to start your tour. There is the birthplace and the Shakespeare Center. The street is lined with shops and cafes and there are street performers to amuse and entertain. The birthplace eventually became an inn called the Swan and the Maidenhead, but it survived and was rescued by the Shakespeare Birthplace Trust in 1847. Charles Dickens helped to raise the 3,000 pounds needed to purchase the building. It's surprising how much from Shakespeare's time has survived. Not far from the birthplace is his school, the King's New School. Imagine the role it played in shaping his life. It's believed this is where he saw his first play and performed for the first time as an actor. Just across the street is New Place, site of the home the successful playwright purchased for his wife and family in 1597, 19 years before his death. Many plays were thought to have been written here when he returned home from his work in London during the off-season. Nearby is Hallscroft, the home of Shakespeare's daughter Susanna and her husband Dr. John Hall. Actors in period costume were filming as we passed by on the way to Holy Trinity Parish. This is Shakespeare's church. He was baptized here three days after his birth and was laid to rest here in the chancel after his death at age 52 on April 25, 1616. A marker over his grave reads, Good friends, for Jesus' sake, forbear to dig the dust enclosed here. Blessed be the man who spares these stones, and cursed be he who moves my bones. Stratford meant to keep its favorite son from ever being moved. Anne and other family members are also buried with him. Leaving the church, you can walk along the Avon River and see all of the activities going on. You can rent a boat or take a hand-cranked ferry to the other side. As you walk along the river, you'll come to the Royal Shakespeare Theater, which stages a number of his plays each year. A mile west of town is Anne Hathaway's cottage, where the 18-year-old William Shakespeare met the 26-year-old daughter of a family friend and became romantically involved. Stratford-upon-Avon is only about 80 miles northwest of London and just 22 miles south of Birmingham, which makes for a manageable day trip and a great time to get better acquainted with this great man of letters. <laughs>